just got here finally uh, up Sand Lake Road. We needed to get a shuttle for this. So we contacted Ryan at Forest the Canoe and he was more than happy to come give us a hand. So Ryan, why don't you tell the people quickly about what you guys do at Forest the Canoe. Yeah, for sure. At Forest the Canoe, we do tours, trips, outfitting. Uh, we do focus on bringing beginners out a lot, like folks that have never been in a boat before. Uh, maybe they want the safety of a guide to come out. Also at our base camp, we got uh, canoe, kayak rentals. You can get all the gear you need for camping. Let's say you're coming up from the GTA, you don't want to carry it all. We can help you out for sure. Sweet. And then we do a bunch of like day stuff, haunted hikes, true north adventure bus. Yeah, just stuff to get folks out into nature. Yeah, and if you guys are interested, even if you need a shuttle from gear or whatever, don't hesitate to give these guys a call. They're more than helpful. Super happy. Thank you very much, buddy. Yeah, sweet. Thanks, Joe. All right. Joe here. I got Tosh and Wolf with me. I've always wanted to paddle the full length of the Sand River ever since I found out about it years and years ago. But it was always told it was an issue getting in. Now that we've got the gear to get down the road, we put in not too long ago and paddled across Sand Lake. We're in the river now. Wolfie's having a blast behind me. Caught a small brookie out of this first little rapid we're in. We're gonna spend a few nights out here. It's a decent trip, probably about 60 clicks roughly. And we're gonna come out on Highway 17 at the Sand River exit. Nope. Well, that was my first cast, uh, second cast, so not too shabby. Let that guy go. And seriously, there was a second one chasing this fish. Same size. Oh no, just a touch bigger. All right, up. <laughs> Good boy, stay back. Just trying to skirt around this little tiny rapid instead of portaging. He's sitting. He's sitting on that rock now. this side for you bud. Go around this side. You're just sitting on that rock waiting for me. You're a good boy. Can you make it over here? Come. Come on. Up. Go that way. Good boy. Yes. Yes. Good dog. You are a good boy. Hop, hop, hop. Good boy. There's all these portages that we don't think we need to take. So, I'm taking Tosh's lead on this one. Hang on, Wolfie, we got a little bit of a dip here, big guy. Good boy. Good boy. There's a little bit of a swift up here too, it looks like. From moose? I think so. Good boy. Some rocks in here for sure. Hard to see with Wolfie in the front. 
Hey, you make a better door than a window, Wolf. What side of this rock did you go? What side of this rock? Woo! Not too shabby. Wolfie's running along the shore. This is awesome. This is awesome. This is great. Okay. Got a little maneuvering to go here. Woo! This is great. Missing portages, having fun, dogs running. Woo! This is there, and I say bridge loosely. <laughs> How old do you think that is? <laughs> yeah. Okay. Wolfie! We're just at the bottom of this little rapid waterfall thing we were able to run through. I caught my fourth fish for today. Too small to keep, but we're going to try and catch a couple of uh, brookies here and, um, and maybe bring them to the camp for supper. One minute. We're, we don't really have much more portaging. It's all the same river, so all is well. He just dragged a, drug a huge moose bone up out of the water. What do you got, bud? Good boy. We're at the end of the longest portage of the day, but there's a tiny little stream crossing and then we're back on to 450. And I think we'll camp pretty soon after that. It's almost 530. Gave up. Come on, bud. Good boy. I don't. Oh, he's swimming. That's his first time swimming. I got it on film. Good boy. Yes. Good dog. Good boy. That's my buddy. Good job, bud. Good. How low can you go? Got it. <laughs> oh, but what Wolfie's gonna do? Duck, bud. Duck. Duck. Underneath. No, no, stay. Wait, wait. We gotta go low. We gotta go low, buddy. Duck, like this. Duck, duck, duck. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Underneath, underneath. Good boy, good boy. Yeah, that's my bud. <laughs> Versatile Wolfie. Versatile dog. First time here for both of us, and we're just going by a map. Don't really know about the condition of anything. So, came up to this site. We're both done, and the next site isn't for quite some time. So, we have to make this work. It's not the greatest. Not that we're too upset about it. It's nice to be here, but if we remove that log, a fallen tree, we'll have some flat spots. This is how old the fire pit is. <laughs> Still remnants of the desiccator packs or whatever they're called, but check it out. This was upside down on the ground. That's the camp sign. We're just looking along the side of the river here for good places to fish. Check this out. That's a 
that's a decent sized moose skull, eh? What do you think about that one? Oh, could he smoke? Look at the teeth. Look at the teeth. It's a nice big one. There's the rest of them. What's that, hey buddy? Good boy. I might have messed it up not getting those first ones. Messed it up, folks. I'm scared him away. Yeah, that's it. That's on the punky side, but she's dry. Yeah. Lovely Wilhelmina made me up some taco kit. So this is already made up like taco uh, beef with seasoning in it. Freeze dried. Wolfie had a big day too, eh bud? He got fed before anybody. So those are gonna go in there with the remnants of the water to rehydrate. And I think I'll put the cheese in in a little bit. Tasha's well, got a brilliant chair. I try to go pretty lightweight on this trip because there's a few big portages. But at the rate we're going, if I'm following this guy, we're gonna run right down a waterfall and not even portage that, so all is well. Okay, this is the powdered banana peppers. I imagine they're potent. I put some in already, so I don't wanna put too much more. But uh, it's almost ready to go. Okay, I'm gonna eat. I'm looking at this way too long. Tastes more like Taco Bell than when I eat it at home. Well, if that's not the most Canadian scene I've ever seen. <laughs> Fire. Canoe upturned, dog chewing on a moose skull. Yes, sir. You would take it. Yeah, don't scratch up that canoe, bud. <laughs> <You're a pain. laughs> there he goes. Oh. You what? A little damp on the inside, but not wet. No. Oh. You got new cream socks on? Mm -hmm. Just checking over the map right now, looking at our progress and stuff. Feeling pretty good about things. And uh, just loving seeing this in front of me. Honestly, love it. All right, Wolfie Boy. What? Just my little, a little flash that I had. Come on, buddy. Come on, come on. Good boy, Wolfie Boy. In the tent. In the tent we go. That's a good boy. Stay off my stuff. Or go right on top of it. Oh, good boy. Like what? <laughs> I don't know, man. <laughs> just, oh, you went blank there? <laughs> just in, yep. <laughs> just pull the Joe. You know. You know, one of them there.
Such a good job today. Proud of you, buddy. Good job, buddy boy. Good job. <laughs> well, today was a good day. It was super. Today was a good day. I was super proud of Wolf. Uh, we were going for a long time today. He had a long time in the car, and then he sat in the canoe like a champ, then ran along the shore like a champ, chased a moose, I think, chewed on a moose bone. Didn't rip a hole in my tent this time. Check this out. When he was like, when he was like four or five months, I met up with Tosh and Cooper and Tosh's brother on the French River and see these patches. He ripped, he jumped on top of the tent and ripped it all up and everything not knowing what was going on and now here he is full grown over a year old sleeping next to me after taking this day like a champ and this isn't the first time really really happy anyways great day with Tosh here um, and tomorrow shaping up to be a good one too I'm sure we're doing really good pro progress we're not even trying to go fast by any means and it's just we're moving so uh we're gonna go to bed man i'm tired and uh tomorrow's another day excited for it happy to be here it's like the fourth or fifth trip now with no bugs so uh yeah <laughs> it's got to be getting that time but we've been going up and down ontario you know what i mean hitting we're up north now so I imagine they'll be uh, out in Algonquin where we camped together last two trips ago, three trips ago for me now. Okay, good night. Good morning. How'd you sleep, bud? Oh, it got cold last night. Frosty, just a bit. Oh, man, it's cold. It's taller than me. This flame is taller than me. <laughs> It's not that Is that really a big yeah, thing? Yeah, yeah, we were going there too. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Oh, man, this feels amazing. <laughs> yeah. I could probably take off my yeah, Right over here where those dead roots are? Yeah. I looked up and I saw them swing. It was definitely, I am not know, it was 100% of the moose. Yeah, a big animal does it, or not a small animal does it. Oh, did yeah. you get the mist off the... I didn't even see that. Wolfie food! And the zippers are frozen on this thing. Here you go, bud. His neck looks so much bigger with his collar on. <laughs> Good boy. Alright man, I'll see you
Hoss should be coming around these rapids any minute here. I'm just waiting for him. Hanging out with Wolfie on this little island. There he is. It's bony, man. It's freaking bony. I don't know where he's going. I guess right there. Like that. There he goes. See that one rock there? What's that? Did you see that one rock there? <laughs> yeah, there was one in the way. <laughs> There's your buddy, eh? There's your buddy. Hey, Wolfie. Good boy. Just sitting on the gunnel, eh, Wolf? Looks awkward, man. Nice, Tosh. Keep this one too? Yeah. Okay. Nice. This guy. And that guy's gonna go in the bottom. We uh we just came around this little bend and we're just kinda like stopped for a sec and as Tosh is like, this is a fishing hole, I'm grabbing my foot fishing rod already. First cast. So we're doing all right. We're gonna take a couple more casts here and have a nice shore lunch, I think. On the lookout for a spot to stop and cook these fish up. It's gonna be an early lunch. I'm actually starting to get a bit hungry, but we really just truthfully don't wanna carry these fish around with us too much longer. So there should be a campsite coming up and a portage. Portage means potentially a rapid. So, Go there, get a fire going, maybe try and catch another fish, get these fish cleaned up. I'm going to uh, cook them a different way than I normally do. So I'm excited for that. We've got some ingredients that I don't normally bring. So, I'm gonna do that. Wolfie's gonna get some, and uh, I'm looking forward to it. It's a beautiful day. It's so very comfortable. We've had a lot, a lot of good luck on weather on these past four or five spring canoe trips. No bugs. Okay. Good boy, good boy. That was slick. That was real fun. A little shallow, right? a little shallow I scraped and I hung up on a rock. I had to push myself off with my hand. But like, I can't see half the shit with him in the front. Yeah. And it's kind of front heavy, but like, it's and probably off. I'm strong because the wind keeps right. pushing me around too. Good boy. Good boy.
Hey buddy. Hey buddy boy. Alright, let's not play in the in the rapids here. What's that? Go on. Still waiting on Tosh. I'm surprised I haven't seen him come up yet, but maybe he's got to do some scouting the rapids or lining or wading. I don't know. It's only 150 meter portage, but I beat my boat up pretty good yesterday and I had those fish in my boat, so I just decided to uh, portage and get this going. So hopefully Tosh grabs another one. If not, no big deal. Some cherry, some cherry wood on there. There he be. Wolfie barked at him. So like I said, I'm gonna do things a bit different cooking wise this time. A few trout here. Small guys for Wolfie. What we're gonna do, spill them, lemon, Wild leeks I picked at home, I've already got some chopped up. So we got some in the fish there. Like, yeah, like that. And then this guy, some lemon. And I also have dill. I've got some dill. So we're gonna throw some dill on the inside. Grass clippings on my butter now. Butter inside. And we're gonna put <clears throat> a little touch of olive oil on the outside. Yeah, we're cruising. All right, time to uh, check this bad boy out and see what's going on. Ooh, toasty, toasty, buttery. Let's see. Man, it's steamy. It's folly a party. I think it's done, Tosh. Yeah? I think so, man. Come check it out, but. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Oh, buddy, you're skinning it all. That's on point. There's nothing wrong with that. Mmm. Mmm, 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 mmm. Love day. Love day. The skin just peels right off, and the meat comes off the bones like nobody's business. Look at that. Nice. All right, dig in, man. Yeah, that's done. Oh yeah. Hey. Okay. You try this, Kim? Yeah, it's good. Yeah, that's awesome. Mm. It takes a week. And lemon. Yeah. 
Mm. Here, buddy. Hey, Finn. Yes. This is hot for me. I'll leave it before I give it to him, but you certainly have the head, bud. <laughs> slides right off the bone. Look at that. Look at that. Just peeling off. Mm -hmm. Perfect. Yeah. <laughs> That's hot, dude. That's hot. Just wait. Yeah, man. This way you get more out of it too, eh? You get everything. Yeah. The full spinectomy. <laughs> Doctor said I need a. What do you think, buddy? It's too hot. Oh, slick. Felix the cat's tough. Wolfie's eating his now. Good boy. There you go. Gulp that minnow down. Tosh, what do you got? <laughs> Spinectomy. <laughs> mm. You taste a lemon now? More? Yeah. Just fucking dirt merchants sitting on the ground here. Merchant of dirt. Bam. Oh my goodness. This is probably going to be the way I do it now. They're like... Yeah, if you like here and there, yeah. The, um... Really, this is a better thing for at camp. Like, it takes a minute. Deep frying it or frying it with fish crisp would have been faster, but... We wanted to do this. And there's not a guarantee we're going to cook fish tonight, so... Jump on it, you know? Oh. Oh, yeah. Those leeks are great. Right? I just got one. Mm -hmm. It's like a really mild onion. Uh huh. Especially when you cook it. Yeah, yeah. If you eat it raw, it's a little bit more uh, oniony. Like here, have one. Bite one of these. Bite one of these raw. It's got a little bit more bite to it, eh? Yeah, a little stronger. Yeah, a little stronger. But when you cook them, yeah, you can have a green onion, like. Yes, you can roast them too on the fire, just like in the husk. In the green uh, leaves and everything, and then like, it, it tastes pretty good, roasted. Kind of caramelized, if you like as well. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Oh, shit. Look at that. Hey, buddy. Come. Good boy. Eat up that span. Might be a little bony, though, you know? Oh, I'm really, really happy about this. You gonna eat that head? No. <laughs> you can eat that fish head, bro? Nothing but the best for you, buddy ball. Oh, that was great, man. Thank you. No, no. It turned out awesome. Yeah, I'm happy you liked it. I'm happy it turned out good. I don't know that I've ever done it this way, to be honest with you. Maybe at home once or twice. Oh, yeah. Oh, wow, those leaks. Mm -hmm. Holy crap.